This was the site of the most wonderful little Sullivan building you could ever imagine. It dated from 1881. It was the E. Rothschild and Brothers store. The street here was lined with narrow mercantile buildings. This was the old garment district. But then amidst them was this slender building that seemed like it was in vibrant energy. Huge windows. The front was almost all cast iron because they needed light to get in for the people who were sewing the clothing inside. That would have utility, but also have beauty in it. Suddenly the word came out in the newspapers that this site was going to be redeveloped and all of those old loft buildings and the beautiful Rothschild store were going to disappear. The threat to the building occurred at the same time that Adler and Sullivan Stock Exchange was threatened. And the poor Rothschild store kind of got lost in the shuffle. And so it went down quietly. There was a beautiful piece of the blossoming iron at the top that the record took down, set aside for me. And it's important to save the ornament in terms of decorative arts history, but it really doesn't tell you much about the power of how the building worked as an entire ensemble. But you can at least document and maybe even get some sense of it. And of course, I've enjoyed where we've taken these pieces of ornament and we've put them in exhibits and people will run their fingers and they'll trace the path of the energy of it. So even in these little component parts, there's a lot going on, which is not only tangible, it's intangible.